Hello students. It's very important that you guys understand uh, image, resolu image resolution when you're designing um, your InDesign document for print. When we refer to uh, documents resolution, uh, we can refer to it as DPI, uh, that's dots per inch of ink, or PPI, which is pixels per inch of data. And if you don't use the correct resolution for print, which is 300 PPI or 300 DPI, the result is what you see here in this book. found this book the other day. The images clearly had been taken off the internet. You can see how pixely and bad they are. If I click on this one, you can really see the pixelization here. It's incredibly bad. And over here, you, you really see this is very common with images that are low res and that have been um, printed. Any image that is 72 PPI or 72 DPI is referred to as a low resolution image and anything above that is high res. But for print you really want a image that's 300 DPI. So how can you check this? Well you should check it in Adobe Photoshop and I have two images that I'm working with and I want to know if I can use them or how big they are. So I'm going to open these two images of baby possums. And we see the first image of a baby possum here. It looks nice and big, doesn't it? It looks fantastic. Uh, but let's see what we really have. So I'm going to go to image and I'm going to go to image size. And this will tell me how big the image is. And there we see it's 72, which is a low res image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck resample. Um, by unchecking resample image, uh, you'll see that these sort of things got grayed out. It means that Photoshop's not really going to do any math on this image. But it'll let me, which means it's really not going to change the size of this image. So if I now put 300 in here, uh, it didn't change the size of the image. And when I hit OK, you're going to see what I mean. But what it shows me here is it shows me that I could use this image at 300 as long as the image does not exceed 2 inches by 1.5 inches. So this image could be used in print as long as it's about you know the size of a slide, basically. If I go in here and I look at my other baby possums, they look very happy and excited, I can check the size again. Again, it, I see that it's 72. Uh, anything that you take with your camera should be usable for your books. You may see that when you open it, it too says 72. Just uncheck resample, change it to 300 here, and it's going to tell you how big of a picture you can use without it uh, getting pixely or looking bad. In this case we see that these possums can be used at uh, um, about 7 inches by 5 inches which is fantastic because that's about the size of our book. Our book is 7 by 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close both of these. I'm going to save them. Okay, let's save the other baby possum. And I'm going to go and open up InDesign and uh, I'm also going to close this a little bit and open it like this. This is the size of your book. It's about a 7 by 7 uh, document. So this is the size that you'll be working on. And let's go ahead and place both these images and see what happens. Resolution tutorial. Let's put both of them in. So I've picked up both of these possums. They're waiting to be put in my document. And I'm just going to click once. And that's going to insert these documents at the size at 100%. And it's exactly what I had seen in Photoshop. This possum is only usable. This is 100% 
of the size of this possum, about uh, an inch and a half by two inches. And these possums are much larger, and you can, and they look much better. Now, I can maybe make this possum picture a hair larger without losing, um, without it looking bad, but really not too much. You really want quality images for this project. This guy, I really can't do anything with him. When you see, if I have a, a picture that's that low resolution, and I really start to make it larger to put it into my publication, you can really see what happens when you don't have an image that's the proper size. And that's how you check your image size for your project. See you later.